Welcome everyone. So let's learn the Halasana pose. The Plav pose. So this is something similar to like the Padahastasana or Paschimottasana. This is again like a forward bend. But the difference is we are giving a little bit of weight to our shoulders and the neck region. So neck flexibility, shoulder stability is very important. So let's get on to the practice and see how we can do it initially and then step by step let's go to the final position right so we are going to lie down on the mat like this in shavasthiti so you keep your hands on the side and then you keep your whole body in active position and then slowly what we do is we take our hands up and then initially you try to go up and down right so when you go forward you will exhale when you come down you will inhale so Take a nice inhalation, inhale, exhale, touch your toes, come back, again, exhale, touch your toes and come back, again, exhale, touch your toes and come back. Now, we are going to advance the practice a little bit, you touch your toes, come back and take your legs up and then again, touch your toes, inhale, take your legs up. And then again, touch your toes, come back, inhale, take your legs up, right? Now from this position, going to the final position, it would be a little harder. So what we are going to do is, we are going to take one leg by the other, right? So from here, we lie down, hands up and see, now the legs will be up like this. So take one leg down, try to hold with your fingers and take the other leg down. Try to hold it. Right. So this is a good position. From here, you release your hands, keep the toes on the floor together, and then interlock your hand. Stay here. This is your beautiful halasana. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Release your hands. Exhale, release your body, slowly lie down and then slowly take your elbow support and come back to Stiti Dandasana position. So since we did a forward bend, let's do a little bit of a backward bend to make sure that we compensate the impact, right? So we come to Vajrasana and then slowly we come up and then keep the hands on the hips and now slowly do a Ardha Ushtrasana. So inhale and bend back. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Exhale. Slowly come to Vajrasana and that's how you do the Halasana, the plow pose. So enjoy the practice and keep continuing. You will be able to keep your foot on the floor and hold it with your hands and that would be the final and one day you should be able to bring the full balance and then take your hands to the other side and interlock so that would be your perfect halasana position so enjoy the practice see you next time thank you